I found a PlayStation 2 listing on Marketplace for 50 bucks. There's nothing really rare or valuable in there, but it does come with the system and like 15 to 20 games. I'll put pictures up here on the screen. It's also got a couple of memory cards. It's like half an hour away, so you know we're heading straight out to go get it. Going. Good, how you doing, man? Good. So here's what we got. I haven't played it for many years. As you can tell, it's a PS2. Right on. One of those I've never plugged in. A couple extensions, power cord. Um, this is the controller, the unit, and those are the games. It looks like everything's there. Everything's there, and I have plugged it in for a couple of, well, probably three or four years because we don't have a tv that doesn't have hdmi anymore oh yeah <laughs> so takes the stuck. red white yellow plugs right yeah yeah yep yeah. yeah, they're right there they make little converters for the modern hdmis do they they do okay they do. yeah i don't play it anymore anyway i'm not too worried if the system works or not works. i take them apart and fix them if oh, they do don't. so i do works so works i know what fine. i'm getting into here no you're good well i got 50 bucks for you awesome thank you 20 40 50. Perfect. So if you come across any other old video game stuff yeah. or if your friends have some, let me know. I will. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Are you, can you just kind of buy and sell, I suppose? Yeah, I do a little yeah. bit of that. I collect. I keep what I need, sell yeah. the rest, offset the cost of collecting, you know? Awesome. Good for you. I well, appreciate thank it, Thank you for making the drive. Take Have care, guys. Day. Before I head home and get into the recap, I just want to say that I'm going to start giving away games in some of my videos. And today I'm choosing to give away Star Wars Starfighter for PlayStation 2. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, because I'm going to have to coordinate shipping for this somehow, someway, so that's where we're going to communicate, and then drop a comment down below what your favorite Star Wars game is and why. I'm going to go live on Instagram a week from when this video drops, and I'm going to use a random comment picker to pick a winner for this, and I'm going to comment on that person's comment, and I'm going to pin that comment down in the comment section, so... Yeah, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. Let's get into the recap. Back at the house, I just laid this stuff out, price charted two of the items that were actually worth price charting. And I want to show you guys what I got. But before I go over everything, I just want to hook up and test the console and make sure that it works. If I had a dollar for every time someone said it worked the last time they played it, I would be rich. Let me tell you. So yeah, we're going to go hook it up and test it out. All right, so now I've got the PlayStation 2 hooked up. We're going to power it on, make sure that it works. All right, we got the red light. This tray opens nice and smooth. Honestly, this is one of the cleaner PlayStations that I've found. Normally, they're pretty dusty and beat up. But we're going to be testing Budokai 3, one of my childhood favorites right here. I actually went through and got 100% of the capsules on the HD remake for PS3. Absolutely love the DBZ series. Yep, so we're going to pop this in and see if the console works. Reading disc. Boom, there we go. Oh yeah, nostalgia at its finest. Absolutely love this game. Budokai 2 was cool because it was kind of like a board game, but this one was more open roam, where you actually went across the world and collected the Dragon Balls, so that was really cool. But it looks like it's working. So I'm going to wind the cables back up and show you guys the price charting value. Tested the system. It works. I'm pretty happy about that. The price charting total for Need for Speed and the system comes to $94.96. I didn't add any of the other games just because they're all valued $15 or less and after fees and shipping there's not really much profit to be had on on eBay so these will get bundled with systems. That being said there's still some pretty solid titles. We got Midnight Club which I absolutely love Midnight Club. Uh, Dub Edition Remix is my favorite but I also got the Platinum Trophy on LA for PS3. 
Then we got Resident Evil, Star Wars, uh, Metal Gear Solid, and Red Faction. And then a bunch of common, cheaper titles here. There's also a couple of memory cards. He said one of them was never used. I'm going to assume it's the bottom one because like it's, it's cut from the top. So the top one's the one that would have come out easy. But yeah, not a bad pickup for 50 bucks. Uh, I should be able to double up easy. That's how we do it. On to the next. My buddy Rolling Retro hit me up looking to offload some of his stuff because he's trying to fund a pinball. But he's got some really good stuff. He's got a DK64 controller. He's got a copy of Fatal Frame 2 for PS2. A couple of Sega Master System games. Anyways, I'll put a picture of that stuff up here on the screen. Uh, he's headed to my place. I'm going to meet him there. And yeah, it's going to be a pretty good little pickup. I think it's worth like five to 600 bucks. So 300 bucks. Let's get it. There he is. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, huh? All ready, my boy. Take a peek. Ooh. She was working. I did test her. You probably got to tighten this just a little bit, but I was playing 007 with it before I sold the N64, so. I don't know if there is a way to tighten it. I always just take apart, like, a different regular controller oh, and, and swap, swap this it out. Yeah. I saw someone on YouTube put, like, a little piece of something at the bottom just to add more friction, so I didn't know if he had any, like, tips or tricks. Yeah, those are kind of your fillers looping. Let me know about that bad boy, too. I just don't have time to sit around today, unfortunately. Jack... Sphinx, Wild Arms 3, Star Ocean, I think that's actually only like 10 bucks or so. Aliens vs. Predator, Time Soldiers, Ooh. Double Dragon, I wish this was the blue label, but it's not. That one's a little rough, but this bad boy is fine. The blue label ver like variant's like 80 bucks or something like that for this bad boy. And then, the big boy. Finished her up, CIB. Surprised to see how much this one's going for on eBay now. I remember well, when I got mine, it was 90, cheap. But I feel like it can be like 100, something a little more. So. All right, 300 bucks for you, buddy. Appreciate you, pinball cash. <laughs> <laughs> I just laid out all the stuff for my buddy Rolling Retro. Price charted it. Really quick, want to show you guys what I got and how much it's all worth. So these two games here are less than $15, so they didn't get put into price charting. But we got some really solid stuff. We've got Aliens vs. Predator, which is like a $30 to $40 game. Lupin the Third. I used to love watching this on Adult Swim. We got Fatal Frame 2, which is currently like a $100 game. I already own this, so it's nice to have as a double. A little bit of liquid damage on the back, so that will affect the value. But I should still be able to pull like, I don't know, $75 or $80 bucks out of it. We got Time Soldiers. Uh, Double Dragon, Sega Master System games, don't find those very often. A sun-faded copy of Final Fantasy. We got Star Ocean, Jack 3, Wild Arms 3, and Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Uh, this one is missing the manual, so that does affect the value a little bit as well. But even without the manual, this is like a $50 plus dollar game. I own it on PSP. I've never played it, unfortunately, but I did play the regular Vice City. I absolutely love the Grand Theft Auto series. And then the item that I'm most excited about, we got the DK Banana Controller. I actually already own one of these, and I'll put a little bit of B-roll up over the screen showing mine in the cabinet. But I think I'm going to hold on to this one. I just got that DK statue, and I think this would look really cool in one of his hands. So I'm, I'm going to hold on to this until I get my DK statue back. I'll put a picture of my DK up here, and I actually made a couple videos about it as well. The price charting total value for all of this stuff comes to six hundred and nine forty four. I paid three hundred bucks, so that's just under fifty percent. Obviously, the sun faded, the sun faded game, and the manualist games, and the water damage games are going to affect that value a little bit. But I should still be able to break even and keep the DK controller after everything. And that's why we do this, so that we can do stuff like that. He was looking to offload it quick to fund a pinball, and I had the cash handy, so that's how we roll. The most expensive stuff here is obviously going to be the banana controller. Price charting has that at 289 Then we've got Fatal Frame at 87 I see sold comps on eBay, uh, upwards of 100 But again, mine has that liquid damage, so it's probably closer to 75 to 80 And then we've also got the Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Uh, I put it in as loose because mine's missing the manual. And even loose, it's $35. Bucks, but I should, 
I should be able to get like 40 to 50 with the case. So yeah, not a bad pickup for 300 bucks. Huge thank you to my good friend Rolling Retro. I'll put a screenshot up of his YouTube channel here. And he actually did a game room tour of my game room on his channel recently, so go check that out. Again, I just want to say thank you for the deal, buddy. On to the next. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And on to the next.